If you like pizza and hot wings, you may want to head out to Wildemar, California in search of food challenge glory. At Stadium Pizza, you'll find the Big League Challenge. The Big League Challenge consists of an 18-inch pizza, which has about 10 toppings, 12 wings, a loaf of garlic bread, and a 34-ounce pitcher of soda. When I visited Stadium Pizza in 2011 in the summer, the challenge was as yet undefeated. To be honest, the 18-inch pizza, the wings, the loaf of bread, and the soda are an impressive quantity of food. All told, that's probably nearly eight pounds. The pizza was surprisingly good. The crust was a bit thicker than a lot of the pizzas I was used to, but it wasn't very greasy, the sauce wasn't too dense, and the toppings were all flavorful. It wasn't the typical muddle that you experience when you offer order these pizzas with 10 or 11 toppings. The wings were not too hot, as I said. I think they were baked. They had that outer sheen you kind of get when you bake wings as opposed to frying them. And a loaf of garlic bread was buttery. It was buttery and rich, and yeah, this meal was very heavy on the carbs. In case you're wondering from the photo and one of the video angles, um, I did have a partner attempting the challenge alongside me. Kevin Ross was not big into doing video at that moment. And honestly, this is one of my first few eating challenge videos that I ever bothered to film. If you stuck with me with my old YouTube channel, you may remember seeing it there. You get one hour to complete this challenge. If you don't get it done, you're gonna owe the restaurant, I think, 50 to 60 bucks. You better check with them if you're interested in the challenge because who knows, they may have raised the price since then. If you do win, you get your meal for free, plus you get a $50 gift certificate, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's still three years later and I think I still have some money on it. Honestly, Wildemar is pretty far from where I live, but if you're in the Temecula or Fallbrook areas, or even San Diego, it's not too bad. Wildemar is a small community that I would say is off the beaten path. It's not a big city, and it's one of those places that in my travels, I always enjoy visiting because it's just so different from the big cities that I'm used to. Small towns tend to have a lot of character and they have a lot of characters in them. A final note, the challenge when I took it was only available on Wednesday nights. So if you're interested in your own food challenge glory, you're gonna wanna call ahead and make sure that first they still do the challenge and that second the rules haven't changed. Though you have an hour to complete the challenge, I managed to finish mine in, I think, 34 minutes. Kevin needed a few minutes more, mostly because he had drank so much fluid in the middle of the challenge. We each ran through, I want to say, two entire pitchers. 34 ounces is a lot, but when you're taking down a salty food like pizza and wings and garlic bread, that fluid just runs like water. Literally, you just you just keep taking it in and and even though you know water or soda doesn't seem like a big deal It's taking a valuable space in your stomach and the fuller you get the harder it is to keep pushing And if you're ever in the area, I totally recommend that you check out stadium pizza whether or not you're doing the challenge I've I've had lots of their other food items such as their calzones their sandwiches their french fries. It's all pretty good
Once we were done, what do you know, they offered us dessert. It was actually delicious. It was a peanut butter cup pizza, which is basically like having a Reese's on dough. At that moment, I really hadn't sampled many dessert pizzas, but it was really damn good. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. Food challenge memory lane. If you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up button. I totally appreciate it. Leave me some feedback. What are some ways that I can make my food challenge videos better, especially the ones that I film in restaurants? There's not a whole lot that I can do about some of these classic ones that I have from many years ago. But when I'm sitting down and trying to decide, you know, how to plan out a new challenge, uh, what are some things that you'd like to see? And as always, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.